Soviet refrigerators work for decades, while modern refrigerators fail after just a few years. Why does this happen? Is it just a coincidence or are we forced to buy new appliances more often? Let's get to the bottom of it. In the USSR, everything was made according to strict standards GOSTs. They required a refrigerator to work for at least 30 years, but in practice it could serve two times longer. Manufacturers had no right to produce defects or to save on materials. Otherwise, you could lose your job and in the worst cases, get under a criminal article. Soviet engineers did not chase super profits. Their task was to make equipment as reliable as possible. For example, when designing refrigerators, they immediately built in a safety margin. If the compressor was designed for 10 years of work, they made it so that it would work for all 30 to 40 years. Soviet refrigerators were arranged as simply as possible. There were no complex electronics, minimum parts, and therefore there was nothing to break. Unlike modern models, where microchips can burn out literally in a couple of years, Soviet refrigerators did not have unnecessary smart functions that only complicate the design. Imagine, you didn't have to look for rare spare parts or call a master who charges money only for the visit itself. Any man with straight hands could fix the refrigerator. It was enough to replace the thermostat or add Freon. Another important point is what it was all made of. Nowadays, manufacturers save money by using cheap plastic and fragile alloys. But in the USSR, refrigerators were made of thick metal, which did not rust and did not deform for decades. Take at least the doors of refrigerators. In Soviet models, they were so heavy that sometimes they were used to close the entrance to the cellar. And modern doors are light, plastic, and can crack from an accidental blow. In modern refrigerators, even the door hinges and compressor mounts can be plastic. They simply cannot withstand the load and break after a couple of years. Because of this, modern refrigerators often fail, even if you use them carefully. For example, plastic fasteners can burst from the cold, and the cooling system tubes can simply rust from the inside, because aluminum oxidizes much faster than copper, which was in the tubes of Soviet refrigerators. But it's not just plastic. Today, refrigerators are stuffed with electronics, touchscreen displays, smart modes, temperature sensors. All this is beautiful, but there is one nuance. The more electronics, the more chances that it will break down. There are reports that some manufacturers program electronic modules so that they fail after a certain amount of time. This is called planned obsolescence. The equipment breaks down exactly when the warranty expires. The control module burns out, repair is expensive, and you are told it's easier to buy a new refrigerator. And the old one is sent to the dump, although it could work for many years. USSR GOSTs required that a refrigerator should work for at least 30 years, but many models served for 50 to 60 years. To this day, Working Soviet refrigerators of the 1950s can be found at dachas, in villages and garages. They survived not only their first owners, but even the collapse of the USSR. Earlier, the equipment was created for people, and now, for business. If a refrigerator will work for 50 years like a Soviet refrigerator, no one will buy new models. It is unprofitable for manufacturers, so the service life of modern refrigerators is only five to seven years. A refrigerator can be beautiful, expensive, and with a lot of functions, but if the compressor breaks, it will just turn into a closet. In the USSR, compressors were made according to the principle, the simpler, the more reliable. They used pure copper, strong pistons, and a minimum of electronics. Soviet compressors had copper windings, which could withstand huge loads and served for decades without breakdowns. You can still find working refrigerators, Zil and Biryusa, of the 60s and 70s, which nobody even repaired. Their compressor is native. Now, compressors are made cheaper and weaker. 
Instead of copper, aluminum, which heats up faster, conducts electricity worse and wears out much faster. But manufacturers did not stop there. In modern models, compressors are often hermetically sealed. If it broke, it cannot be repaired. It remains only to change completely. Manufacturers claim this is done to save energy, but in fact it's done to shorten the life of the compressor. If compressors continued to work for decades, people would not buy new refrigerators so often. It turns out that modern technologies make refrigerators weaker, not better. In the USSR, appliances were made according to the principle, it is better to be over-insured. All parts were calculated with a huge safety margin so that the refrigerator could work even in difficult conditions, in case of power surges, strong heat, or cold. Soviet refrigerators were equipped with parts with a safety margin of two to three times, while modern ones have only the minimum required resource. That is, if the compressor had to withstand 30 years of work, it was made so that it could work all 50. As a result, a Soviet refrigerator could survive several owners and continue to work. Now everything is the opposite. Parts are made with a minimum safety margin. The answer is simple. If the equipment does not break down, manufacturers lose profit. Therefore, refrigerators are now designed so that they do not last too long. Although if today refrigerators were produced according to Soviet standards, their price would be three to four times higher. Instead of making appliances durable, manufacturers cheapen materials, reduce the thickness of metal, replace it with plastic, and as a result, the refrigerator costs less but breaks down faster. Manufacturers do not need the refrigerator to work for decades. It is important for them that you buy a new one every five to seven years. If appliances remained as reliable as they used to be, many companies would simply go bankrupt. Nowadays, more and more people are getting tired of disposable appliances. Modern refrigerators break down quickly and repair costs almost as much as a new one. And then the question arises, what if we take an old Soviet refrigerator? After all, they worked for 40 to 50 years and even now are found on a veto in working condition. But is it worth buying such equipment today? Let's find out. Let's start with the pluses. These units are practically eternal. The body is made of thick metal, the compressor with copper winding, a minimum of electronics, nothing to break. In addition, such refrigerators are very repairable, unlike modern models where spare parts cannot be found or they cost as half of a new refrigerator, the Soviet equipment can be repaired literally on the knee, and it will work for many years. Now about disadvantages. Soviet refrigerators are noisy. If you are used to silence, the motor may run a little loudly. They are heavy, they are not easy to move. Plus, old models consume more electricity than modern economical analogs. If you need a reliable and durable refrigerator, which can be repaired at any time, the Soviet variant is still a worthy choice. But if quiet sound and saving on electricity are important, it is better to choose a modern model. What do you think? Which refrigerator is better, Soviet or new? Write in the comments.